supposed to be here. Then we're gonna gameplay on the map. So I'm doing the PDW with Red Dot, Slide of Hand, and Suppressor. Gameplay aside, my topic for today is going to be the fall of pub snappers in Advanced Warfare. And with all of this um, reverse boosting, banning, and skill based matchmaking, I do believe that AW will be a bad year for pub snappers. It won't be like Ghost, where the game is just bad and that you can adapt to make it better. This game actually is skill based. So in that sense, people are going to want to, you know, reverse boost to get better gameplays for YouTube. But what I believe will happen eventually is that, oh, like, Carnage, for example. Uh, I mean, I love their gameplay. Their gameplays are awesome and their commentators are, are fun to listen to. But, for the, the, the game, for the, game, for the players, uh, I'm not feeling particularly um, distressed over their lack of gameplay now. Because they're... I mean, they have to deal with everything just like an you know, average pub player does. I mean, I don't reverse boost, but I reverse boost in the fact that if I do good in a bunch of games, the game's gonna realize, oh wait, this guy's a beast, I'm gonna win a game with other beasts and see what he does. And then I get my butt poked, and then I die a lot, so then I, I reverse boost like that. It's not intentional, but I have something. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, that happens, and then it's, it, I can leave a game and get, and get better back to stopping. So when Michael Condry today saying that, oh yeah guys, skill based network is not an essential part of it. They will play with our playing for longer and playing more. I don't even think that that, 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 can, that can't be remotely true. Because I've played Black Ops 2 MW3 and MW2 way longer than Advanced Warfare. Like, I, think, I think if you combine my game time on AW and Ghosts, the amount of game time I'd have on Ghosts and Advanced Warfare is significantly less than that of Black Ops 1, and I, and I, actually, no, never mind. I didn't even play Black Ops 1, really. So I guess that aside, you know, Black Ops 1 the mix too. I mean, even though Black Ops 1 is a great game, I just did not feel it. It was not my cup of tea. I, I, I think if you combine all three of those games, and, like, put it with NW2, it, it, it would still be Sean in comparison, because that game is so much fun. Because even when you're getting stopped, you're having a lot of fun. So, and this is the message to Michael Condry. Remove skill-based matchmaking. I don't care if the statistics say that more people are playing. They're playing because they want to reverse boost and get into better lobbies. If you made it a more casually based game, more people would feel the need to enjoy it in bursts. That's the way games are meant to be. They're not meant to be, you know, sweated over for four or five hours at a time. With the but the Call of Duty goes into Advanced Warfare, your Treyarch does not deliver a Grand Slam. Uh, but the, the Con franchise is definitely going to lose a bunch of viewers, a bunch of players, me included. Even though it does seem hard, I mean, I, I mean, I am enjoying Destiny a lot. Destiny is so much fun, guys. Um, I have Sniper Elite 3 for the 1, and I have, and I have pre-sequel. I mean, that's pretty much it to last me until, like, the next brand of games come out. And then even then, my friends and I, my friends want me to play, um, Battlefield 3 with them. So commentary is coming to you after you guys. Check it out. 343 signing out.